Hey everyone, it's Gus from Pi My Life Up, and today I'm taking a look at the Raspberry Pi vs Arduino. Now here we have the Arduino. For those who don't know, the Arduino is a microcontroller board that allows you to run small programs. This board, unlike the Raspberry Pi, doesn't run a full operating system. This removes a lot of the functionality that you gain from having an OS, but it allows interacting with sensors and devices and executing simple code to be a lot faster and easier. Every time you want to update the code on the Arduino, you will need to connect it up to a PC via a USB cord. You will find that the Arduino doesn't have a video out, audio out, networking, USB and onboard storage. These can be introduced by using add-on boards called shields. These Arduino shields are used to increase functionality of the board. These shields range from a GPS unit, networking, motor control and much more. Now here we have Raspberry Pi and unlike the Arduino, the Pi is a mini computer that requires an operating system in order to run. The Pi has an ARM processor, RAM, HDMI out and most things you'd find in a normal computer. Since you have to run an operating system, interacting with external devices and executing programs is likely to be a bit more complicated and slower. The Raspberry Raspberry Pi supports networking straight out of the box. This means once you get past the initial setup, you can access your Pi remotely using SSH or other methods. It also has plenty of USB ports, a HDMI port, audio out, so it can hook up quite a few additional peripherals. The Pi also comes with GPIO pins that allows you to interact with devices in a variety of ways and add additional functionality to the Pi. An important factor you should consider in the Raspberry Pi vs Arduino debate is the projects you're going to be able to do with the board. If you already have a project in mind, then it is very important to know the capabilities of each board and what you can get out of it. The projects that you can do with Raspberry Pi range from simply just installing software right through to projects that involve software and circuitry. To just name a few good examples, you can do stuff such as a retro game emulator, a web server, robots, home automation and much more. The projects you will find yourself doing with the Arduino are going to mainly involve circuitry based projects. However, you can do some cool software projects such as a mobile phone, but keep in mind you definitely won't see as many software based projects as you would with the Raspberry Pi. To name a few good projects you can do with the Arduino, quadcopters, robots, mobile phone, clocks, bean counters and much more. The Raspberry Pi takes a bit more time to learn because there's added complexities. This includes things such as a Linux based operating system, a huge range of libraries, support for many programming languages and much more. It can be quite a bit to take it all in. That being said, you can quickly learn to install software and get some pretty neat projects up and going in no time at all. The Arduino on the other hand is simple as you will be doing most things with the basic programming language. Also, it is able to handle communication with hardware a lot better as it doesn't have all the extra burden the Pi has. In terms of time to master, you'll find that learning to operate and deploy code on the Arduino will be a lot easier than on the Raspberry Pi. It is also very important to remember what you plan on doing as one is better at electronics and the other is better at software. In summary, the Arduino is more suited for projects that require interaction with devices and sensors. It's a great way to learn the basics of program and interacting with other real world objects. The Raspberry Pi on the other hand is better suited for projects that require more RAM and processing power. It is great for running heavy projects such as a media center, web server, act as a desktop computer and much more. It too can interact with devices, but not as well as the Arduino can. You can combine the two boards together to build nice complex projects that have a cool software package backed up with interaction with sensors and devices. I hope this video on the Raspberry Pi vs Arduino has helped clear things up about these two devices. If you have any questions, feedback or anything else you'd like to let us know, drop us a comment below or over at pymylifeup.com. Looking for something new to do? Check out these awesome 21 Raspberry Pi projects that anyone can do. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest projects, guides and much more.